Hi friends, what's so this is our K phone 360 leader. It's time to talk about the best tips to fix progressive web apps not working on iPhone and iPad. Though progressive web apps work as expected, in some cases they may throw tantrums and fail to function properly. Having been through this very sloppy path on a few occasions, I know how to fix the ill-functioning web apps. Based on my personal experience, I have lined up the best tips and tricks to fix the progressive web apps not working on iPhone and iPad. That said, let's get started. First off, make sure you have properly set up the progressive web apps. Note that just like a standard app, a web app also requires you to go through a brief setup process. Therefore, make sure you have ticked off this important box as well. On your iPhone or iPad, launch Safari and then head over to the website which offers a web app. After that, tap on the share icon at the bottom of the screen. Next, choose Add to Home Screen. Then give a suitable name to the web app and then hit Add at the top right corner of the screen. After that, open the web app and then sign up or log in using your account details. Next up, make sure you have allowed the web apps to send notifications. If you aren't getting the notifications from the progressive web apps on your iPhone, ensure that you have granted permission for it. To do so, open the web app. When prompted to allow notifications, make sure to hit Allow or OK in the pop-up to confirm. Alternatively, navigate to the Settings app on your device and then choose Notifications. Then scroll down to find the web app and then turn on the toggle for Allow Notifications. Then make sure you have not restricted the websites which web apps you are using. Another important thing that you must do without fail is to ensure that you have not restricted the websites which web apps you are using. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now select screen time. Then select content and privacy restrictions. Then be sure that the toggle for content and privacy restrictions is turned on. After that, tap on content restrictions. Then tap on web content and choose unrestricted. Next up, I would suggest you to factory reset your device. When you talk about reliable ways to fix ill-functioning web apps on iPhone, factory reset comes into the reckoning straight away. So no prizes for guessing, we would bring it into play as well. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now tap on general. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose transfer or reset iPhone or iPad. Then tap on reset. Then tap on reset all settings and confirm the action. And finally, I would suggest you to update the software on your iPhone or iPad. If progressive web apps have not yet come back on track, it won't be wrong to blame a software bug for the whole mess. To update the software, open the settings app then tap on general after that tap on software update and finally download and install the latest iteration of ios or ipad os and that's pretty much it so these are the best tips and tricks to fix progressive web apps not working on iphone and ipad hopefully you have gotten the better at the problem if you found this video helpful do like and share it and i'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks till then stay safe and have a great time Goodbye.